Hey everybody and welcome back to Linear Algebra Online. So I think I said this before, but I wanted to revisit this problem um, with the trace of a matrix equaling the sum of its eigenvalues once uh, we've seen diagonalization, because once we've seen that, then it's much easier to actually prove this thing. So if we have like this lambda one through lambda m being a complete set of eigenvalues, um, for an m by m matrix A, then that means that there should exist um, uh, like an invertible matrix P such that um, P inverse AP equals D. So basically, we can con construct the diagonalization of A. Um, so uh, we have um, P, um, we'll say P inverse Sorry, I'll do it this way. We have P and P inverse such that um, P inverse AP equals D. And um, we know that D is um, just that diagonal matrix where, um, you know, by the way that we can do these diagonalization arguments, it's just going to be the lambda 1, lambda 2, lambda 3, all the way up, right? All the way down to lambda n. Um, so maybe we should add that, actually. Um, I'll even do it like this, comma, where d equals lambda 1, lambda 2, dot, 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 lambda n, and then just zeros everywhere else. Okay? So that's just because we have a complete set of these eigenvalues. <coughs> Okay, um, so then I'm basically just going to use trace properties. So uh, note that the trace of D, okay, which is going to equal the sum of all those eigenvalues. Just kind of say it like that, right? The sum of all these should equal the trace of um, P inverse AP, right? And then um, note that this thing would equal trace of um, P, and then we'll do it like this, P inverse A. Um, and that is really just from the fact that for, um, for all n by n uh, matrix matrices, uh, trace of AB is equal to the trace of B a. That was like a property we saw with trace back in whenever we first saw this. Um, and so what I'm basically just doing is I'm, I'm grouped, right, this one and this one. I said that's one matrix, and I just commuted it, um, you know, with P there. And so now what I can do is I'm just going to kind of change where my parentheses are, right? So matrices are associative, so there's nothing wrong with this. I can just move my parentheses there. And then, of course, I'm just going to, I'm going to kind of bracket that off. Um, I'm going to keep this going. You probably see where this is going. Um, this part right here would be just the n by n identity, right? And so this would just equal the trace of a. Um, so um, that basically proves it, right? If you backtrack this thing, you've got the um, trace of that diagonal matrix, which is the sum of its eigenvalues equaling trace of A. Um, so this proves trace of A equals lambda 1 plus lambda 2 plus blah 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 plus lambda n. And that does it. That is a much easier way to go about um, proving this uh, interesting kind of formula um, rather than trying to do it um, from the definition of the characteristic polynomial, which is like the way the book wants you to do it um, originally. And there are proofs of that online. If you want to see them, I can show you them. But they're pretty uh, cumbersome to read and pretty cumbersome to kind of deal with. So I think this one is much nicer and the way I basically think about this problem.